Hello, my name is Rich Choi. I'm a CRM technology specialist here at Microsoft. Today we're going to take a look at the sales process overview when using quotes, orders, and invoices in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. In today's video, we're going to take a look at capturing an email, converting that email into a lead, then converting that lead into an opportunity record. From there, we'll create products and associate them to the opportunity. We'll then create a quote, convert that quote into an order, then convert that order into an invoice. And last but not least, we'll end this video by displaying some resources that will help you when using CRM 2011. Before we begin, I've already configured the products, price list, and line items in CRM. This is required in order for uh, quotes to work properly. Here we're looking at Microsoft CRM within the Outlook client and we'll, using, we'll be using the Outlook client for this video presentation. You can see here that I have an email from Mike Franklin who is interested in 100 units of product A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click track and I've now tracked this email. Since I don't know who Mike is and he looks like based on the email viewed my website and is interested in the product A. I'm going to convert this email into a lead record. So I go to the ribbon here, I select convert to, and I select lead. I'm going to complete the form here. And I'm going to leave the selected, open the new field, and close the email form fields. And I'll go ahead and click OK. What's going to happen is it's going to close out um, this dialog and open up the new lead record that we're going to create based off this email. Okay, let's go ahead and expand this a little bit here. As you can see, an, a lead record was created and it placed in the information that we captured here. If I go to the close activities, you'll notice that the actual email that we captured from, my, from Outlook has been captured and displayed in the close activity section here. Because we're tracking that email, now any dialogue I have going back and forth between my, Mike and myself will then be captured in this close activities area. Now let's go back to the email. Go ahead and open it up as I would in my daily daily use with Outlook. I'm just going to simply reply back to Mike. So I simply replied back. I'm going to go ahead and close out here. Now if I go to Mike's record and click Close Activities, you'll see that my response has been captured in the Close Activities area. So now when Mike responds back, that also will be captured. As so I'm going to go ahead and close out this lead record here and go back to my Outlook. And as you can see, Mike has responded back. He says, great, thanks for meeting with me. The product sounds great and I'm convinced this is what we need. So at this point, I'm ready to qualify Mike um, beyond a lead record and actually convert Mike's record into a contact account and opportunity record. So I'm going to click this regarding link to Mike's record here. And it's going to open up his lead record. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click qualify at the top of the ribbon. When I click qualify, I'm going to select an account contact an opportunity and I'm going to select open newly created records so you can see the records that it's going to create based on this lead record. I'll go ahead and click OK. As you can see here we have the records that were created, the opportunity record, 
and we also have the contact record which I'm going to close out and we also have the account record which I'm going to close out so next I'm going to focus primarily on the opportunity record so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click line items on the left jump bar here I'm going to select line items area I'm going to go ahead and add a new product as you can see with that error I need to add a price list first so actually I'm going to add the price list first go ahead and click OK and I'm going to go ahead and click save now that I have my price list there I'm going to select line items select line items again and click add new product Here I have the ability to use the existing products um, that I've created in the product catalog, or I can select write in product where I can write in my own product in real time. But I'm going to use existing here, and I'm going to search for an existing product. And Mike's interested in product A, so I'm going to select product A here, and I'll go ahead and click OK. I'll also select the units. And in this case, I'm just going to use the primary unit, which is one unit click OK and based on the quantity amount I'll go ahead and put that in and it's going to calculate that for me there so next I'm just going to click Save as you can see based on the quantity amount and what I have listed in my price list it's given the um, amount here so I know everything looks great and I'll click Save and Close and now on this opportunity, I have a price list that's associated um, with a line item here. Now when I scroll up the opportunity record, you'll notice that the estimated revenue is already generated based on this line item calculation. And that's because we have the system calculated button set here for revenue. If I want to write in my own revenue, I can select user provided and write in my own estimated revenue there. But this is already being calculated based on the line items I select. Now, I could select more than one line item, of course, but I'm just using one as an example here. So I'm going to say a day has passed, and I've contacted Mike, and he'd like to move forward. He thinks everything looks great, and he's requesting a quote. So my next order of business is to, in this opportunity, create a quote here. So I'll go ahead and click Quotes. I'll select the quote area, and I'll click Add New Quotes on the top ribbon. You can see when I created a new quote, quote ID is automatically generated there. And it's brought over the topic from the opportunity, which really all started out with the lead topic here. So you can see how it's progressing through every time I convert. It brought over the detailed amounts. I also have different options. Um, I could insert a discount, a freight amount. And as I scroll down, there's different options that you can place within this quote. Now what I'm showing you today is just out of the box. You can definitely add more fields to this. Uh, you can also rearrange specific areas or remove fields as well. Because we've created a new quote, you still have some options here um, before you activate this quote. So if I talk to Mike and he wants to add another product, I can simply click products on the left side. And I can add new product as I did before. Once the quote is selected and everything looks correct and is verified by the customer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this quote here. Now the quote is active. Um, I can print this quote for the customer or at any time if I need to revise the quote, I can go ahead and revise it. There's also an area where if I close the quote, where if Mike requests that he no longer wants to move forward, I can close this quote as well. The next scenario I'm going to demonstrate is I've been talking to Mike. He looked at the quote and he contacted me and said, great, um, let's go ahead and send, uh, create an order for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click create order. And what's going to happen is the order is going to then be automatically created, taking the information from the quote. So I'm going to click 
create order. So you can see here that it says the quote has been won. So I want to go ahead and move forward. I can use the calculator from the quotes in order to select the revenue or if the revenue has changed and I want to manually input the actual revenue I can go ahead and do so here. But I'm going to just leave it as is and click OK. Now in this stage you'll see that the order is also um, selected a new ID automatically there, but it's bringing across the information from the quote and it's moving it along. And just like the quote, you, on the order form, you can definitely add fields and remove fields and put in the information there. Now you also have the ability to fulfill this order, cancel this order, or make any recalculations based on um, any changes that are have happened between the quote and order instance right now. But I'm going to go ahead and click on fulfill order here. And I'm going to say that the order was complete, so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK here. Now as you can see on the top ribbon, many of the functionalities have been grayed out now. So I only have an option to cancel this order, or at this point, when the order has been received, and the customer is satisfied, I can then create an invoice. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and say everything went smoothly, and I'm going to create this invoice here by clicking Create Invoice on the ribbon. In this final stage, we've now created an invoice here. We can uh, get the products. We can also do some recalculation, cancel the invoice, and at any time, if the customer has um, written a check and the invoice has been paid, I can select Invoice Paid and I'll close out this invoice here. I'll say that the invoice was completed and I'll click OK. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out this invoice form here. And I go back to my opportunity. Now every action that's taken place has been capt captured on the close activities. So when I cl click close activities here, you'll see that all the email threads that have gone back and forth between myself, even when Mike was in the lead stage, have been captured. And also the quote, order, and invoice has also been captured as well. And that concludes our video today. I want to leave you with some resources, some great links here to help you when you're working with CRM. And if you have any questions or topics around CRM, uh, maybe some requests for video footage that uh, is not on our site right now, you can reach us at this email here. And I want to thank you for taking the time out to view this video. I hope it was helpful and have fun working with CRM 2011.